Lots of people on here, and I noticed that some of you guys actually were on here before I even started the video. I think you guys are liking this new way of doing things. Let's see, let's see. Yes, Ariana, you were the first one here. Hey, Ariana, hey, hey, hey. Kendall, hi, love, hi, love. Carly, Carly, hey, hey, love. I got my connector from one here. All my babies are here. Hi, hi, hi. You know what you gotta do. Tell me at least one thing you did today. At least one thing you did today. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me. I want to know. I want to know. Tell me something that you guys did today as we wait for everybody else to come on. <laughs> You're already on it. Hey, 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 Nyla. Hi, Cliffy. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, you guys are on here. I see that, Kendall, you beat me to it. You already knew that. You can't on Sarah on here. I didn't even know it. I didn't even know it. You played Roblox. Hey, Janicia, Roblox. You did tumble and you went to your neighbor's house. I need to see some video of you tumbling, Carly. I'm sure that you are just spectacular now because the last time I saw you doing some tumbling stuff has been a while. And I know that you practice and practice and practice, and that means that you practice and you get better. You practice and you get better. You went on a walk and you had a little turtle, your kino. Hmm. Do you know what type of turtle it is? I would like to visualize. There's so many different types of turtles. Do you know what type of turtle? If you don't, that's fine. But I would love to know. You had banana bread, Sarah. Hmm. Where's mine? I just visualized tasting it, and it was really good. Bryson did show and tell. What did he show and tell about? What did, I don't, you know, I like to visualize. I don't, I don't know what to visualize. You did some wrestling. Okay, okay. Cliffy went to school. You guys have been pretty active, been pretty active. Okay. I did some studying today. Nyla, hi, love. What did you do today? You and Jameson, what have you guys done? All right. So my shirt, palm trees. You guys know I like the warm weather. You know I like palm trees. Loa, who am I saying hi to? Hi, hi, hi. Sophie, hi, hi, hi. You play with saw, sa sidewalk chalk. What did you um what did you make? Oh man, I forgot so that Robbie didn't go outside. Oh, a river turtle. I have to look that up. Rat terrier. That yeah, that's my rat terrier outside, so I can make a connection. You did a trail walk. Franklin, you think it's oh <laughs> you're making a connection to the turtle. Franklin, I love that. All right, back to this. So palm trees make me happy because palm trees means that it's going to be warm weather and I get cold really quickly. I don't like to be cold because it takes me a long time to warm back up. Get lost. Palm trees. Predictions. Really good guess. What kind of book do you think I'm going to read? What might you see in the book? You know that I make a connection, just like Nyla always does. I made a connection. The connection, something with my shirt. Something with my shirt. I need at least three predictions before I start reading. Hey, Noah and Rena. Hi. Oh, you guys went swimming. It's a little still too cold here for it. This weekend will be nicer. It's still a little bit too cold. I would like to go swimming. I haven't been swimming in a while. Hey, Julian Love. I don't know if I said hi to you. Okay. So you think I'm going to read a book about Hawaii? Well, Hawaii does have palm trees. Dogs? Well, I don't know about getting lost with this. Someone getting lost. So I see Hawaii. I see palm trees. I see dogs. I've got three. I'm going to give you guys another clue. And it's something that I don't usually do. Listen to this. Let me make sure the volume is all the way up. Listen to this. This is something from the past that some of you might know. Listen, listen, see if you know. So 
anybody know what that is? What did I just play? There's a little bit more before it ends. All right. Just, anybody know what that is? Anybody? Anybody? I'm going to wait a second before I pull up the book. The only clue. No, I'm going to see. Does anybody know? What did I just play? Yes. Yes. Woody Woodpecker. You probably watch Woody Woodpecker. Do any of my great ones and younger ones, do you guys know what Woody Woodpecker is or who Woody Woodpecker is? Okay, Sophie, have you watched the Woody Woodpecker? Um, <laughs> Yes, Kendall, you didn't know. Sophie, have you watched Woody Woodpecker? Okay, guys, have you, some of you guys, so Stitch, no, 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 Woody Woodpecker. And it's a cartoon. I'll show you the other computer and you can be able to see. This is Woody Woodpecker. When I was growing up, I used to watch Woody Woodpecker. And Mr. Yerby, that's actually his favorite cartoon. It wasn't mine. Mine's Tom and Jerry. I'm going to read a nonfiction book about Woodpeckers. Your mom told you. Yeah, that's more of a mom cartoon. I'm going to read you guys a nonfiction book. The North American Animals, Pileated Woodpeckers. Have you ever seen this? Now it says North American. So some of you guys, my people who do not live in North America, but you live way across, across the ocean, you may not have ever seen one. To those of you who live here, hey Casey, hey love. To those of you who live here in Virginia, they live right here with us. You could be able to see one right in your own backyard. Or if you go to the park, you could be able to see one. What do you think you might learn from me reading this book? I would like to see too. You've seen a woodpecker before. Was it this type? Because there are many, many different types. Probably not because it says North American, but we'll find out in here if it lives in any other places. Most of these books, in fact, all of these books from Bellwether Media, thank you, Bellwether Media, they, they have a map in it and it's going to show you. So what do you guys, I need to see two things. After reading this, you think you will learn what? I'm waiting for different body parts. Think different body bones? Yes, okay, okay. What they eat? I've got two, I've got. All right, here we go. Nonfiction books and chapter books have a table of contents. It lets you know one part, what are pileated woodpeckers? Big and bold. Bold. Hmm. Do you think that this bold means like I had a student last year and I used to tell her to be bold, meaning I did not want her to be scared and shy? Or do you think bold means like a bright color? What do you guys think? How they live, what they eat, their home. What do you guys think that bold means? Big and bold. Does it mean that they're brave and they're going to attack you? Or does it mean that they have bright colors? If they can hear us. Hey, Max. Hey, Max. You think it means both? Okay. Hammer time. Hammer? Hmm. Hungry hatchlings. Well, we're going to learn about hatchlings. That's got to be the baby when it comes out of its egg. Oh, oh, it's not a mammal. I remember we read that mammals have live babies. They have the live babies. They do not lay eggs. So those are the things we're going to learn. In the glossary, that's a mini dictionary. Something about nonfiction books, they actually have photos, not drawings. Bright colors, bright colors, bright colors. Okay, let's find out. What are pileated woodpeckers? Look at this bird. Look at the colors. Does this look like a big bird or a small bird? What does it look like to you? Just write the word big, old, bold like they're tough, big or small. Pileated woodpeckers are some of the largest woodpeckers that fly through North America. What am I gonna find on this page? There's a clue. Since I see a compass rose, what's gonna be under here? What's gonna be under here, guys? What's it gonna be? Did you say a map? In the wild. 
pileated woodpecker range, the yellow part. So you can see where we, most of the viewers here are on the East Coast. I always tell you, you can got find Florida. It looks like it's a handle sticking out. Virginia would be right about here. And then they go up here, up into Canada. That's Canada up there. This is saying, hmm, they're not extinct, which means we can still find them. Oh, they're way down here. That means there's lots of them, lots of them. And that's what it says, conservation. Do we need to work on saving them? Least concern, we don't need to be worried. These birds make their homes in wooded areas of the United States. They are also found throughout Canada. And a picture already showed us that. But it's diagram. Hmm. What can we learn here? What can we learn here, guys? What's it doing? What? What's the difference between these pictures? What's the difference between these two pictures? Why? Why is the illustrator and the, why the author and illustrator showing us this picture than this one? Maybe they want us to compare something. What will we be comparing here? Most pileated woodpeckers are found deep in forest. The birds seek out both evergreen and deciduous trees. Evergreen, evergreen. What kind of tree is that? Evergreen, evergreen. Those are the trees that stay green all year round, no matter what the temperature is. Deciduous trees are the ones that in the fall, the leaves change colors. In the winter, the trees are bare, which I don't like. In the spring, you get the little bitty buds and the very, very light colored green leaves. And then they get dark and dark. And then in the summer, you have the big dark green leaves. So they eat from both of those. What's this? Is this a tree? What is that? They're saying here, most are found in the forest. What's this showing? Sometimes they are found in wooded backyards. They often hammer on houses and fist posts. I want you to hear what it sounds like because I think it's really cool. And it's something that you can even be sitting inside of your house and you can go, there's a woodpecker outside. At least nature people like Casey and I. This is what it sounds like. Can you believe that? I guess you guys can actually see it. Will they do it again? I didn't go that far in the video. Do it again. Do it again. Okay, Miss Shivy, just rewind. Watch him do it as soon as I turn the computer. All right, I want you guys to see it. Did you see it? I'm gonna go back again. I think it's pretty cool. So if you ever hear that sound, you know you're listening to a woodpecker. It really did sound like someone hammering. All right, big bold body. Now you guys are gonna be able to find out your predictions. This is where you're going to either confirm your prediction, great, it was right, or you're gonna correct your prediction. Great, I wasn't afraid, I took a risk and I learned something new. Big and bold. Does bold mean that it's tough? Does bold mean that it's bright, bold colors? Kinda like this shirt I have on. Bright red crest, top pileated woodpeckers heads. Oh, that would be this part. Black feathers cover their bodies while white feathers line their faces and necks. And you can see all of that. Identify a pileated woodpecker. What are we gonna find here? What's gonna be shown here? You said tough, bright. Oh, I see some people saying tough, so I'm gonna say bright. I tried doing it, but that isn't faster. I don't know what you're talking about. I missed the comment. 
long neck, red crest, chiseled shape beak. Males have red marks on each side of their beaks. These look like mustache, mustaches. Well, I don't see any red on this one. Oh, wow. This one is a male. I learned this when I read this book. I didn't know that. This is a male. He has the red. This is a female. She does not. Looking at this page, what does bold mean? Did we read about the colors or did we read about it being tough? What did bold mean? I don't have to tell you because it's here. I see the word red. I see black. I see white. I see red. Look at it flying. It's a pretty big bird. It's not as big as goose, but it's definitely much bigger than like a chickadee or a blue jay. Pleated woodpeckers are large birds. Some are more than 19 inches, 48 centimeters. Wow. So that means if I take this ruler, which is 12 inches, and if I add this one, let's see, 12 plus what? What's 12 plus what is 19? 12, let me see, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, seven. So can I get all of this in the screen? This is how big they can be. That's from there to here. Kind of big. Kind of a big bird. That's almost as big as a crow. They're showing you the comparison of him and a human. Size of a pileated woodpecker. The wingspan, they have wingspan spans up to 30 inches. So the body was 19. The wingspan, 30 inches, 76 centimeters wide. When flying, they show off their bold white, oh, more clues, more clues, bold white underwings. This must be the underwing. Yes, they are bigger than cardinals. Yes, the colors, yes, yes, yes. Wow. I showed you guys the video and you can always go back and look at more. I showed you the video of how it hits and you had a chance to see, look at that. Look at the hole it calls created in that tree. And do you think the woodpecker did that? Thumbs up if you think the woodpecker did this right here. Thumbs down if no, it just happened to come and it was like that. Pileated woodpeckers use strong beaks to hammer at wood. They create rectangle shaped holes. Oh, why? Why do you think they're doing this? Do you think they just are like destructor and they want to destroy things? These holes can be up to 12 inches tall. 12 inches. They can make a hole as tall as this ruler. 12 inches, 30 centimeters tall. They sometimes call small trees to break in half. Wow. Look at this. Did you learn something? Is this a male or a female? And how do you know? What about this one? Is this a male or a female? And how do you know? They need homes. Okay, okay. Anybody else? Can anyone else tell me why? Why in the world they're hammering the tree? The answer's on this page. I don't want you to see it. I don't want you to see it yet. Hammer time. Do you guys visualize hearing the sound? Do you need to hear it one more time? Hammer time. Hear it. It's got a tongue. If it's sticking out its tongue, that means it's what? sticking out its tongue. That means it's what? What is it doing? What is it doing? Pileated woodpeckers are omnivores. They hammer into trees. Here's the why. To find carpenter ants and termites. They enjoy berries too. So why? Yes, yes, yes. What didn't you know? 
Um, Lila, you didn't know what? What didn't you know? Tell me. Oh, omnivores. Well, they already told you. What's some of the other? <laughs> I shouldn't have put it off. What's some of the other things you think they eat? It says carpenter ants, berries. Do you think that's all they eat? You think they eat anything else? Carpenter ants, damp wood termites, red huckleberries, horn platylus beetles, somatic berries, and spruce budworms. Wow. Eat lots of different things. They stretch their long barbed tongues into insect tunnels. Barbed, barbed. I've not been paying attention to these words. I'm sorry. When a word is bold like this, you can go to the glossary in the back of the book, which is like a, a mini dictionary. Mini dictionary. Casey, please focus on the book. I tell you this every day. Focus on the book. Everyone else is. Barbed. Having sharp points that stick out. Oh, it's got sharp points on its tongue. Stick out your tongue. Now, nothing sharp's on there. You guys have any sharp points on your tongues like they do? <laughs> you said, ill, ill. You didn't know the difference between the females and the male. I didn't either. They're kind of like the, um, I can make a text to world connection. Monarch butterflies. The males have a black dot on each of its wings. The females do not. So the first thing that I thought about, I was like, wow, that's just like a monarch butterfly. So they have barbed tongues. I guess it sticks out and they must stick the bugs and then they just <laughs> slurp it up. Oh, oh, and then they have something else. They have sticky saliva. The, their sticky saliva helps them capture their prey. Saliva, you guys know what this means. You know what prey is. If you did not know, you can go to the mini dictionary, the glossary, and it's an ABC order. I'll look up saliva. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, O, 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 saliva. A watery fluid in the mouth that breaks down food. We have it. Oh, wait. Maybe that, that's not just for the food. Look at here. That looks like the hole that we talked about, and that looks like the hole that we talked about. I guess they do it for more than one reason. Hawks. Owls and weasels often hunt pileated woodpeckers. These predators, well, let's see. If they're hunting, predator must mean an animal that hunts. I found the answer right there. These predators attack the woodpecker nest. Oh, oh, who said the nest? Who said the nest? You were right. The nest is in there. Pileated woodpeckers live in cavities with multiple entrance holes. Wow. I guess that's just like making a front door and a back door. Why do they have that? Why? Why? To hide home and babies. Yeah. And I know you guys have said this already, but it just says right here that the hawks, the owls, and the weasels hunt pileated woodpeckers. These predators attack the woodpecker's nest. So that means that they go up into the nest and the woodpecker's got to be like, you know what? I got another way out. This gives them a way to escape. I don't know if I read that already or not. Hungry hatchlings. Male or female? Male or female? Every year, woodpeckers make nests by hammering, did you hear it? Into trees. They line the nest with chips of wood. Then females lay three to five eggs. Males and females take turns sitting on the eggs. And we have evidence here. Who's sitting on the eggs right now? Baby facts. Names for babies, hatchlings. Number of eggs laid, three to five. Time spent inside the egg, 15 to 18 days. Time spent with parents, two to three months. Wow. So the time that we've been on quarantine is about the time that they would have hatched and just about ready to leave.
Yep, they're getting fed. I would love to see this. I've never seen babies. I've only seen, well, I didn't know to look at the face. So I don't know if I saw male, female, or both. I didn't know, but now I know what to look for. Before long, hungry hatchlings chirp noisily for food. Do you hear them chirping? Mom and dad takes turns feeding them. Who's feeding them right now? Are you able to tell? I don't think we are able to tell. Look at this. I like this picture. I can tell that this picture was taken as the woodpecker had just moved his head back from pecking and pecking. And you can see the wood, little small particles of wood in the air. Do you guys see it? Yes, it is a cool looking bird. That's why I ordered this book. I ordered these books. Thank you to Janicia. Your mom donated money to me. I ordered these books and I said, I have to get one of the Pileated Woodpecker. The books arrived, I think yesterday or day before. And this is the first one I'm reading to you. The hatchlings grow fast. After a month, they leave the nest and learn to hammer too. Did you guys tell me that this was a male? And that's the end. Before we go, because it's not quite eight o'clock, or it's not quite, what, 10 o'clock for my, my Japan people? Or is it nine? Yes, it's not quite nine o'clock for you, not quite eight o'clock for us. I want you guys to tell me one thing that you found really interesting. Now, this book is full of facts. Facts. There are no opinions in here. Everything in here is a fact. It is really true. Tell me something that you found interesting or something that you learned. I already told you, well, these woodpeckers are extremely interesting to me anyway because I love nature. So whenever I hear a woodpecker, I'm like, and I try to look for it. I try to see it and I keep looking and keep looking and I follow the sign until the sound until I find it and I just watch them. Since this is a kind of big bird, it's easy for me to see it. And I just watched them. And one thing that this book did not tell you that is really cool about woodpeckers, you can actually see it on here. They walk up the tree just like that. The way that you can see the woodpecker on the tree, it walks up the tree. So if this were the woodpecker, it would walk up the tree, hop up the tree and peck and hop up the tree. That's the way that you could tell it's a woodpecker even if it's not a pileated one. What I really liked is that, or th that I learned that the male had the red on his face. So Max, you're saying you learned about the nest. Uh, Janicia, they make tree split in half. The male has a red stripe on his face. Yeah, I love these books. You guys want some, learn some really cool facts presented in a lovely way, the Blast Off Readers. And it's by Bell Weather Media. Awesome books, awesome books. And I've got plenty of more to read to you guys. All right, guys. One day you looked out the window and you found a bald eagle. Well, that's pretty awesome. It probably was. Was it really high? When I think of bald eagles, I think of them being extremely high. You thought the hole in the tree was cool when they were coming out the nest. Yes, yes, I would love to see that. They make different tunnels to get out. Yes, yes, yes. That's cool too. I did not know that either. So we have lots and lots of cool, neat facts in this book. All right, guys, I want you to think of one thing that you're happy about. Remember, I told you, you need to keep a list of them. You need to have a list. Hey, Amira, hey, love, hi, hi, I miss you. You need to have a list of things that you're happy about. Amira, you need to go back and watch this whole video. It's really cool. Lots of fun, neat, interesting facts about pileated woodpeckers. But you guys need to have lots of things, lots of happy things to be able to think about, think about, think about, think about, think about. Because if you're really sad, if you're really upset, just thinking of one thing might make you just be like, but if you think of another one, you might say, you keep thinking, you keep thinking, and you keep thinking, and then you can go, I feel better. I want you to also, Think of things that you did that you're proud of so that you can think of. You can say, wow, I did that. Wow, I did that. Can you believe I did that? I still don't believe that Les Brown and I have 
Zoom meetings every weekday. I'm still like, wait, my dream, did that just happen? You have to create things like that by believing in yourself and never giving up. Well, what have you done so far that you're proud of? Think about it, think about it, think about it. Think about the things you're happy about. Think about the things that you did that you're proud of. Lock it in, lock it in, lock it in. Inhale. Exhale. Smile. You're beautiful. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me today. Make sure that you do something to make someone else smile before you go to bed today. And make sure that you do something today that makes you better than you were yesterday. I love all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes, yes. I got your gift card. I told your mom. I, I sent a message to your mom, Carly, thanking her for the gift card. You surprised me. I think you sent it one day when I was reading on here. And then I picked up my phone afterwards and I was like, what's this? And I was like, oh my gosh. So thank you, love. You surprised me the same way you used to do two years ago when you were in my classroom and you would just sit something down and I would sit down and say, you still got it. You still got it. That's your greatness, Carly. All right, guys, I love you. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Chapter Book Tuesday. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See you guys tomorrow. Good night and have a great day, Japan. Bye.